Hi, do you have an interest in rail or civil engineering? Then this is where you need to come to do your study. Rail and Civil Engineering Academy, Newcastle College, Basin in Fallon. Rail and Civil Engineering Academy is a bespoke academy built to serve the needs of the rail industry alongside the civil engineering aspects. As you can see, we've got some of the students already working hard over my shoulder. Let's go and have a look at them. Hi, my name is Neil Stevenson. I work for Newcastle Rail Academy. Uh, I'm currently teaching level three, year ones, where we are doing practical ass assessments, transposing rails, moving rails. In this current job, we're actually trans uh, repositioning a breather switch, which is a everyday job that they would actually do on the railway infrastructure. Throughout the course, we do do a lot of practical courses, all involving track alignment, track geometry, or everything that the railway really needs. Welcome to the Rail and Civil Engineering Academy. I'm Georgina and we're going to take a look around. This is Newcastle College University Centre IT Suite. We have strong industry links and as you can be seen, this is sponsored by Cross Country. We often hold an industry week where we collaborate with the industries from those fields and we get them to come in and showcase their industries and offer career advice for those students coming through. So some examples of this might be, we work closely with the fire brigade, where we simulate a car crash. Um, we get students to sit in the car, the makeup teams come across and they'll actually make up the students as if it's been in a real life car crash. And the fire brigade actually get to cut the roof off a car with the students sitting inside. So exciting times for them. Moving further down, we've got some other examples with the fire brigade, we've got the industries, we've got different industries coming in. And we also work closely with Jason Anker, MBE, who was paralysed in an accident from the waist down. He fell off a ladder basically and he's right, his life was virtually ruined. He's now come back, he's an inspirational speaker and he's very, very powerful. But I think one of the most powerful photographs that we've got within the academy is this one up here. And this is what happens if you trespass on the railway and you don't know your safety rules. Hi, my name's Angela Baird and I work at the Rail and Civil Engineering Academy. I'm a geotechnical engineer and I work here part-time. I have a degree in engineering geology, so that's a, a BSc, and also a master's MSc in engineering geology. And this is the, the geotechnical lab, so this is where students who are studying on our um, degrees or on our um, further education courses they get to learn about soils and how important they are to civil engineering and also rail, because it's rail is part of civil engineering after all. So it's really important to understand whatever structure you're going to build on, you're going to be placing it on soil or on rock and you need to get a really good understanding of how that soil and rock is going to behave and whether it's strong enough to build whatever it is that you want to be building. So um, we've got lots of different soil types, we've got some sands, some gravels, um, some clays, and the students get really hands-on with these. We do some descriptions. So it's obviously very important to understand what the materials are because the different particles behave in different ways. And then as we walk, go along towards the end, there's a, a shear strength test called the triaxial test. Which is this one here. So we place a, a small cylinder in, the, in, a, in here of soil and that will get compressed and we'll see how the, that soil behaves. All these kind of tests are all really important to try and understand exactly how these soils are going to behave. In my career, I've worked in lots of different areas. I worked on the Olympic site. I helped to um, 
sort of look at the, the soils, how contaminated they are, and also um, when we brought material back in to compact, whether they were compacted correctly. Um, that was for the Aquatic Centre. Uh, I've also worked on massive tunnelling schemes in London for major cables for the National Grid. So trying to make sure that the, the, the materials and the strength of the soils are going to be good enough to support these, these um, tunnelling structures and how groundwater could potentially sort of impact on how, how they get built and, and the potential costs that are associated with it. Yeah, within the Rail and Civil Engineering Academy, we actually have an IT suite dedicated to the software within the industry, such as AutoCAD and SolidWorks, where students can actually learn how to develop their skills. Let's go and have a quick look. To the main workshop within the academy. This is where we get the students to do practical work to enhance our skills sufficient to work within the real and civil engineering industries. Why not have a quick look around? Hi my name is Ian, uh, I'm one of the lecturers here at, at the Real and Civil Engineering Academy. My background is railway signalling. I've done over 30 years working on the railway, working on the signalling system. Came to the college five years ago to pass on that knowledge so my job now, my, my main role here, is to teach railway signalling, which includes these level crossings and the, the rest of the signal equipment that we'll show you in this short video. So as you can see, this is our main signalling area within the Rail and Civil Engineering Academy. In this area, we've got our main line signals, fully operational, full size, exactly the same as what you find out on the network. We've got different types, we've got a four aspect signal here, we've got a position like junction indicator at the top. We've also got a subsidiary signal with a stencil indicator as well. Also in this area, we've got our location boxes. The only difference from uh, the ones in here to the ones that you would see out on the network is the ones on the network obviously have the steel doors. We've got the plastic uh, covers, so we can, our students can all see it all and see exactly the workings and how it goes. The first set of points we're going to come to is hydraulic points or clamp lock points as they're called on the network. It's one of these ones here. These are hydraulic driven. As you can see these are exactly the same as what's out on the network right now. These are quite a new modern version as well. These are what's called Imbera clamp locks. These are quite new type rather than old. So this is the stu our students get to work on real size, real life equipment. And we've got more points here, which instead of being hydraulic driven, these are an electric motor. So these are what's called HW, 1000s and 2000s. So these are an electric motor which drives gears and cogs. So again, our students get to test real life signaling equipment. So they're not only learning the theory in here, they do get to get, but put their hands on real size, real life equipment. Hi everyone, I'm James Edge, I'm the Head of Curriculum here at the Rail and Civil Engineering Academy. Right here beside me, I've got the new mock-up for the Stadler, his new fleet for the Metro. Within the Academy, we've got some excellent partnerships with a range of industry leaders. Next to Stadler are just some of the few which we'll work with.
Hope you've enjoyed watching our fantastic tour for Rail and Civil Engineering Academy. As you've seen, we've got some inspiring staff and students who both study and work here. We do hope that you study with us in the near future and really do reach your aspirations in either rail engineering or civil engineering.